What is going on everyone? In this video we'll be taking a look at the linear support vector machine algorithm. And the way it works is suppose that we had the following data. The features aren't that important, but for the sake of this example, let's suppose that this were height and this were weight. And we had two classes. Let's say the green ones are guys and then the orange ones are girls. On average, guys tend to be taller and way more than girls. And so if we want, if we got a new data point, let's say here, and we wanted to predict whether that person was a girl or a guy given their weight and height, what we could do is we could draw a line through the data. So let's say something like this and all data on that side of the line would be classified as a guy and then all the data on the other side would be classified as a girl. Now, the problem with this approach is that we virtually have an infinite amount of lines to choose from and we don't know which is best. And so what the linear support vector algorithm does is it takes two support vectors. So we call them vectors because um, essentially it indicates where the point is using a vector. So this would be the support vector for the first class. And then this would be the support vector for the second class. And we pick these two because these are the closest um, between the two classes. And then what we do is we draw a line that maximizes the margin between the two. So let's say, right, this is the distance between these two points. Well, we would take something in the middle and draw a line kind of like this. And this would theoretically give us the best probability of, or the highest accuracy at predicting new incoming data. So the data point that's in white over here, because it's on this side of the line, it would be classified as a guy. So next we'll, we'll take a look at how to implement this in Python. See you guys in a bit. All right, as always, we're going to begin by importing the necessary libraries. So from sklearn.datasets.samples generator, we're going to import make blobs. And this will allow us to generate the data ourselves. And then from matplotlib, we're going to import pyplot as plot. We're going to import numpy as np. We're going to import pandas as pd. We're going to import the train test split. We're going to import the confusion matrix. And also we're going to import the support vector classifier from the support vector machine module. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and generate the data using the make blobs method. And first you pass it the number of samples or data points. We're going to pick 125. And then you specify the number of uh, clusters or centers. So we're going to use two like in the example we did before with height and weight. Then we're going to want to select the standard deviation. And we're going to select 0 0.60. And then we're also going to want to select the random state, which is 0. 
now we will we will divide it into our training and test sets. So we'll pass an X, Y, and then we will explicitly tell it to use a test size of 20%. And then again, we're gonna pick a random state of zero so that you guys get the same thing I do. And then finally, we're gonna plot it. So the way it works is it's going to store the first cluster in the uh, first index position and then the second one in the second index position. And then we use train y for the color of the cluster, which is our, our binary label. and then we'll use the seat map, which is just a color scheme. And so if I print that, you can see that we have um, our data here, and then there's two labels to it. So there's one class here, and then there's another class there. And so you can imagine a line here separating the two um, clusters. And we'll go ahead and do that now. So we're going to create a support vector classifier. And to do that, you call the support vector classifier constructor, and we're going to pass in a kernel of linear. There's different kinds of kernel, but we're going to use linear, which is just a, a line, essentially. And then we will train it off our data. Like so. All right, so now let's see if I take this again. And then we will get the current axis. And then using that axis, we can get the range of all the x values, which is get the uh, limit of x. And so that'll give us the you know, something below negative 0 0.5 and then a little above 3.5 for our line. And now we can add another scatter plot. But this time we will use our test sets. And then we will also change the marker to square so that we can tell the difference. And now we will, now that we've trained our support vector classifier model on our training data, it has a property called co coefficients. And essentially, if we take the negative of the first value and then divide it by the second one, we'll get the slope of the line. And now we're going to create a range of x. So this will be all the x values for the line that's separating the two uh, clusters. And like that. And now finally we'll uh, write the equation for the line. So it's y a, which is our slope, times all the x values. And then we need to subtract the intersect. So SVC intercept underscore zero. And then again, this one, we have to divide it by the second value in our coefficients array. So if we were to plot that now, and do a plot.show, should be a dot. There you go. Now you can see that we have the line separating our two data points. And you can see right here that we have squares. And the squares represent the test set. And so our model classified the data with an accuracy of 100%. And if we wanted to see that in concrete numbers, we could do 
pred y is equal to svc predict test x. And then we can use the confusion matrix, like so. And you can see right here, because all of the numbers are on the diagonal, it predicted it with 100% accuracy. So thank you for watching. I will put this on GitHub. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.